Hi, my name is Carrie, and I'm from Yoga on the Lake. Welcome, this is a Vinyasa 2 flow class. Um, it's an all levels class, however, so feel free to modify where it makes sense in your body, and feel free to amplify if you feel like you have extra energy or would like to enhance the posture in any way that you know. We are gonna start right off the bat in child's pose, so feel free to come to your knees and allowing your knees to either come wide with your arms reaching out in front of you. If this, for any reason, is too intense on your shoulders or your hips, just bring your knees together and allow your hands to come back by your heels. So we'll begin with a deep inhale, breathing in fully. Exhale through an open mouth. Just begin these first few moments connecting with your mat or whatever space you found. Feeling a sense of groundedness, a sense of connection, and just a sense of peace where you can find some space that makes sense for your body. Yoga, the practice of yoking together our physical bodies, our spiritual bodies, our emotional centers, through breath, movement. So honor whatever's showing up for you today. And just begin by expanding your first inhale. Allow that breath to travel from your low back, expanding your back ribs, filling your belly, traveling through your chest, your throat, the crown of your head, breathing in, and then allow an exhale to wash over you, traveling that same path. As you breathe in again, perhaps set an intention for your being here in this moment. Perhaps as you exhale, just imagine making space in your body, emptying the air, letting go of something that you would like to let go of in the next hour, in the next moment. So that we can start the practice of Kriya, of cleansing, of starting anew. In the next inhale, remembering that next breath, we always can invite in a sense of newness. Perhaps through a closed mouth and an open throat, beginning to find that ujjayi breath, uj expansive, jai victory. As you take your next inhale, just begin to invite a little length in your body, perhaps reaching your tailbone a little further towards your heels, maybe walking your fingertips out just a little bit further in front of you. Spreading your fingers, maybe lifting and coming onto the pads of your fingers, cupping your hands, feeling your muscles hugging your bones. And then as you exhale, slowly release through your shoulders, maybe turn your third eye space side to side on your mat. Just inviting in a mental softness as well. On your next inhale, slowly to begin to walk your hands to the right side of your body, beginning to invite some length into your left side, your left ribs. Maybe even lifting your left hand on top of your right, breathing in and opening up through your shoulder space. Taking one more inhale here. Exhale as you walk your hands back through center, gently, softly coming to the other side. Again, placing your right hand on top of your left. Inhale, breathing a little more space into your right side body. Exhale as you find some softness. Inhale as you gently make your way back through center. Breathing in here. And then beginning to make your way onto all fours. Planting your palms, stacking wrists, elbows, shoulders, and allowing your knees to come right below your hips. And just as you begin to open your bodies, gently coming into a round or two of cat-cow. So breathing in as you drop your chest, lifting your gaze. Filling and then exhale as you round it out, emptying completely, allowing your head to be the last thing that falls into place. And then inhale, begin to fill with air, opening, breathing. Exhale, rounding your back, belly to spine, spine to ceiling, press the ground away, feel yourself hovering above. Take one more expansive inhale as you lift, finding pockets of openness in your shoulders, your hips. Exhale as you round it out. Emptying completely with breath. Coming back to a neutral spine, begin to activate your core space, allowing your ribs coming in towards your hips, actively pressing the ground away, filling up through your shoulder blade space. 
Keeping your left hand where it is. Inhale as you begin to reach your right arm straight up towards the sky. Floating your arm, beginning to take your gaze. Just feel a gentle opening in that upper back. Exhale as you weave your arm underneath your left. Taking your right cheek to the mat. Taking your left arm either straight up, maybe around into a half bind. And then your option to extend perhaps your left leg behind you, just finding some length, beginning to breathe into your back body. Again, just finding centers of openness, maybe lengthening through your leg. Beginning to tap into your core strength. Whatever shape you've chosen. Inhale a little more length. Exhale softness as you slowly begin to retrace your steps. Slowly releasing that left arm back down, planting it right underneath your left shoulder, mindfully making your way back onto all fours. Taking a moment here, finding the opposite side. So rooting into your right hand, begin to breathe some length into your left hand, maybe a little twist of your wrist, releasing that joint. Inhale as you press the ground away, floating a little taller. Exhale as you weave your arm underneath your body. Again, left cheek is gonna connect with the mat. Right arm can reach up and overhead. Again, maybe a half bind. Whatever feels best in your body, staying right here, maybe reaching your right foot back, feeling a stretch in the back of your leg, then maybe elevating that leg, tapping into your core space. Take another expansive inhale here. Exhale, slowly making your way back onto all fours, planting your right palm underneath your shoulder, mindfully making your way up. And just take a couple moments of swinging your hips to the side to side, any other organic movements that might feel really nice while you're here on all fours. Breathing as you move. And then softly, gently making your way back to all fours where you're hugging your torso in, beginning to tuck your toes underneath you. Hovering your knees just an inch from the mat, begin to shift your weight into your upper body, filling up the back body with as much breath as you can, tapping into your core space and as slowly as you can, begin to straighten through your legs, lifting your hips up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. <sighs> Taking a few moments in this first inverted space, appreciating the new perspective of your head below your heart. And just gently taking a bend into your right knee, lengthening through your left. Feel that hip space begin to awaken. Slowly switching out your legs. Breathing on your exhale. Inhale, straightening through both legs. Take a deep bend into your knees. Allow your chest to reach back towards your thighs for a moment, finding a little more length. Taking your upper arms away from your ears, away from your neck, making space, arms strong and straight. Inhale as you come tall on your toes, lifting your hips a little taller, straightening through your legs. Feel the backs of your legs reaching. Your upper body's taking most of the weight here. Coming back to a neutral space where your heels are reaching towards the mat. They might not touch. Just beautifully lengthening through your back body, through your backs of your legs, coming into this neutral space, activating your core. Ribs come in towards your hips. Downward facing dog. Taking an inhale as you press back, waving yourself forward to a high plank, top of the push-up, holding the space in plank. Again, you're pressing the ground away, filling up your core, filling up the shoulder blade space. Now the crown of your head's reaching forward as your heels reach back. Take one more inhale, shifting your shoulders slightly beyond your wrists, pinning your elbows, lowering all the way to the mat, coming into Bhujangasana Cobra. Thumbs are gonna touch the base of your ribs, elbows are pinned, bottom body soft as you inhale, beginning to just lift the top of your body off the mat. Maybe staying for a moment, lifting your hands off the mat, engaging your back. Beautiful, floating your hands back down to lower your forehead or chin to return to the mat. <sighs> Taking the same action again, bottom body stays really soft. Inhale as you lift, Bhujangasana Cobra. Exhale, lowering back down to the mat. Taking your arms wide, cactusing your arms out to the sides, maybe coming onto the pads of your fingers, lifting through the cups of your hands. Inhale, begin to open your upper back. Once again, bottom body stays soft. Allow your upper body to lift, opening spaces. Exhale, beautifully making your way back onto the mat. 
sliding your forearms in front of you, coming into Sphinx Pose. All different places to just begin to open your upper back, maybe taking your right ear to your right shoulder. Exhale as you drop your chin towards your chest. Taking your left ear towards your left shoulder. Exhale, making your way back. Gently lowering your torso back to the mat. Sliding your thumbs back so they're touching the base of your ribs, a 90 degree angle in your elbow. You're gonna tuck your toes underneath you, engaging your quadriceps, lifting them from the mat, engaging your low belly. We're taking chaturanga from the ground up, maybe using your knees, making your way back to a high plank. Pressing the ground away, fill with strength, lifting your hips up and back, downward facing dog, taking these slow movements, awakening your muscles, Again, knees are always welcome to come to the mat as we move through these transitions. One more inhale as you press back, lengthening your spine, waving yourself forward to a high plank once again. Slow as you go, taking your shoulders beyond your ribs. Same exhale as you pin your elbows, this time stopping halfway down. Inhale as you sweep your hips forward, coming into up dog, Urdhva Mukha. Pressing through your palms, allowing your chest to come through your arms, gazing as you open your throat, throat chakra. One more in breath here. Exhale as you pull your belly to your spine, lifting your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Taking your toes to the outer edge of your mat, take a bend into your knees and just gently walk your hands back towards your feet, deeply bending into your knees if it feels good. Just allow your upper body to rest and come off your bottom body, maybe clasping your elbows, shaking your head yes or no, just releasing any tension in this space. Gently allow your hands to fall to their deepest place in this breath. Inhale to a halfway lift. Your left hand's gonna come underneath your face. Your right hand reaches towards the sky, either keeping level hips by keeping your knees straight, otherwise taking a little bend into your left knee, allowing a little deeper opening here. One more breath. Exhale as you come back through center, forward fold on your exhale. Inhale to a halfway lift. Long spine, right hand underneath your face. Left fingertips float towards the sky, taking your gaze, breathing in length as you spread your wings. One more inhale here. Exhale as you come back through center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you walk your hands back out to a high plank. You can keep your legs wide if you would like to. As you take your same exhale, pinning your elbows, traveling through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha or Bhujangasana, lifting and opening. Exhale back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. <sighs> Taking an inhale, finding length. Exhale. Inhale as you press back, looking towards the top of your mat, stepping, tiptoeing, floating in that direction. Inhale as you lift halfway, long spine, exhale, forward fold. Rooting through your feet, coming all the way to standing, either through a flat back or a gentle rounding. Palms next to your sides, facing forward, coming into mountain pose, the basis of all standing postures. Feel all four corners of your feet grounding in. Feel your inner thighs traveling behind you, your tailbone slightly drops, low belly begins to come in and up, chest open, shoulder blades behind you. The neck and the crown of your head grows long. Taking a deep inhale here. Exhale. Gently beginning to spread your wings, separating your arms, reaching up and overhead, mountain pose, Tadasana, maybe a little back bend if it's there. Fill with breath, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, slow as you go. Inhale to a halfway lift, long spine. Exhale as you plant your palms, stepping or gently beginning to find a float back. Pinning your elbows as you travel through Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Sira Namaskar A, Sun Salute A, beginning to find breath with movement. Inhale as you press back, setting your intention to travel lightly to the top of your mat, moving in that direction. Inhale as you lift halfway, long spine, exhale forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way to standing. One expansive breath to the top. Fill with as much breath as you can. Have it lead right into your forward fold. Uttanasana. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, planting your palms, stepping or gently floating back. Same exhale as you travel through Chaturanga. Inhale, opening through your chest. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhaling here. Exhale. Inhale as you press back, looking forward, stepping or gently floating in that direction. Inhale, lengthening, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing. One breath to the top. Breathe in as much air as you can. Lead right into your forward fold, emptying completely. Ooh, Tanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, planting your palms, stepping or gently floating back. Inhale, lifting your chest up, dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Reconnecting your downward facing dog. Thumb and index finger pressing. Internally rotating your forearms. Feel that external rotation in your upper arm, shoulders away from your ears. As you're rooted to your palms and your left leg, inhale your right leg behind you, coming into a three-legged down dog. Go ahead and lift this leg a little higher, stacking your hips if you would like, taking a bend into your knee, breathing through your right quadricep. Finding space, if you'd like to flip your dog straight away, feel free to come into this space. Not only if you feel like your back body's open, you're breathing through your heart center, your belly, your chest, spreading your toes, turning your ankle, mindfully making your way back to a three-legged down dog. Inhale as you lengthen your leg. Now drop it into place and feel that neutral leg. Press your palms away, extend through your heel behind you. Exhale, take your knee to your nose, nose to knee. Hover above, arms are strong and straight. Inhale, fine length, pressing the back leg back behind you. Exhale, coming into a low runner's lunge. Bringing that knee right in front of your hands. Maybe lowering your back knee to the ground if that would be a nice version and modification of this pose. Breathe here as you begin to open through your left frontal hip. Inhale as you straighten through your right leg to the degree that it makes sense, breathing into your right hamstring. Now inhale a little more length in your spine. Exhale as you deepen over that front leg, belly, chest, and chin. Taking a few breaths here. Each inhale invites a little more length. Each exhale a little more softness. Right hip comes up and back as your left hip comes forward. Gently beginning to walk your hands forward once again, returning to that low lunge. Left hand stays planted as your right hand floats up towards the sky, enjoying this full twist. Crown of your head reaches, maybe Utita reaching that top arm up and over, bicep next to your ear. Gaze can continue to travel towards the sky. Take one more breath, reaching tall, back up and overhead. Exhale as you frame your front foot. Untuck your toe, tuck your toes, lift your back knee, stepping back to a plank, maybe keeping that right leg lifted, ekapada, pinning your elbows, traveling through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lifting your chest. Exhale, back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shanasana. Taking a breath here. Exhale. Inhale your left leg this time. Breathing in as you open through the left side body, taking a bend into your knees, spread your toes. Maybe flipping your dog if that makes sense in your body. Breathing through your hips, your chest. Now travel that breath into your belly. Let your body expand. One more in breath here, slowly making your way back. Three legged down dog. Breathe in here, now begin to drop that hip into place, finding a neutral hip, your inner thigh reaches behind you in that left leg, you're pressing the ground away, reaching through your heel, one more breath, exhale, knee to nose, hovering above, feel that core strength engaged, inhale, lengthening your left leg back behind you, exhale, softly stepping it through your hands, coming into that low runner's lunge once again, bringing your knee right above your ankle, maybe lowering your back knee to the ground, Breathing into your right frontal hip. On your next inhale, begin to straighten through your left leg. Again, to the degree that it makes sense in your own hamstring. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, belly, chest, and chin. Slowly surrendering off for that front leg. Left hip comes back this time. Right hip a little bit further forward. One more inhale. 
inhale here. Making your way back into a low lunge. Right hand plants this time, left fingertips float towards the sky. Breathe in as you extend, opening here, maybe Utida with that top arm. Reaching through your fingertips, through your heel. One more breath as you reach back up and overhead. Exhale as you frame your front foot. Tucking your back toes, stepping back to a high plank, maybe keeping that left leg lifted, pinning your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale up, dog or cobra, breath is full. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Taking an inhale together. Exhale completely. Looking towards the top of your mat, stepping or gently floating in that direction. Inhale as you lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Big toes touch, knees come together, Utkatasana, chair pose. Your deepest seat. So arms can be up and overhead, maybe they're coming to your heart center at Namaste. Palms will face each other. And then shifting most of your weight into your heels, lifting all ten toes. Feel the strength of your legs as you find your deepest seat. Then feel the engagement of your pelvic floor, Mula Bandha, in and up, traveling that heat into your Uddiyana Bandha, your core, your center, as your ribs come in, knitting with your hips. And then beginning to lift your arms, your heart center. Allowing this posture to be more about your breath than the strength of your legs. So maybe closing your eyes, beginning to tap into some internal heat. And allow that breath to fuel you. Beginning to shed away the layers of the day, of this moment, and beginning to come into your strength, your center, your will. And deepen into this posture that might be physically, that might be mentally, coming up to your edge where some of the practices just begin to start. Deepen in on your exhale, inhale, palms together above or below your heart center. Now enjoy a sweet forward fold. Let it go. Ooh, tanasana. Taking an extra breath here, separate your feet frontal hip distance apart, getting a grasp around your big toes with your index and middle finger, inhale to a halfway lift, long spine, exhale, Padagustasana, big toe, arms out to the side, shoulders away from your neck, away from your ears, finding that release. Inner thighs continue to travel behind you as you reach the crown of your head towards the ground. Again, a gentle bend in your knees is always welcome in these forward folds. Just notice where you can invite in softness, where you might have been gripping. Try to find some softness and some release here. Beautiful, gently releasing this clasp, heel toeing your feet back together, returning to chair Utkatasana for a breath. Now this time exhale your torso forward, taking your right elbow outside your left knee, twisting your chair, Paravrita Utkatasana. Palms press, arms may open, floor to ceiling, spread your wings. The option to play with Parshvabhakasana, a little arm balance or finding a little half bind. Be in a space or a full bind. You're building heat. Be sure you're breathing while you twist, beginning to detox, wringing out your body. One more breath. Fill with strength, with lightness, whatever posture you're in, slowly retracing your steps. Inhale, reaching your torso in front of you, taking the opposite side right away, bringing the opposite elbow outside your knee. Breath is full. And pressing your palms, bringing your chest towards your arms, maybe spreading your wings, exploring a half or full bind. Continue to breathe into your body, Parshvabhakasana. Fuel with breath, opening spaces, beautiful, slowly making your way back. Inhale your arms straight out in front of you. This time enjoy a sweet forward fold, exhaling completely. Again, take a few moments separating your feet frontal hip distance apart. Maybe this time finding Padahastasana by placing the palms of your feet underneath, your hands underneath your feet, and maybe allowing the backs of your toes to massage your wrists. Gently again, releasing your shoulders away from your ears, maybe shifting your weight subtly between both feet. Take any forward fold that makes sense to you here and just find some softness in your face, in your eyes, in your neck. Ah, take
Taking one more exhale in your forward fold, gently stepping back out from underneath your hands, heel toeing your feet together, this time planting your palms. This is completely optional, playing with crow, bakasana, bend into your elbows. One knee or both to the highest part of your arms. Even the prep for this is a little like being in cow and cat. Pressing the ground away, filling up that shoulder blade space. If it makes sense for you to float back through, through your vinyasa, feel free to go there at any time. Otherwise, gently stepping back, maybe taking an extra breath in your up dog or cobra to counter pose the forwarding and the strengthening in the crow pose. I will meet up in downward facing dog. Exhale here. Take one more inhale, exhale complete. Inhale your same right leg behind you, keep it dropped into place, exhale knee to your right tricep, nice and high, tap it in. Inhale, lengthening back behind you, exhale knee to your opposite elbow, wrist, tricep. Inhale, beautiful, lengthening your leg back behind you, exhale as you step your foot forward, setting up for warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Gently stepping forward, sealing your back foot flat, 45 degrees, taking a moment to just breathe in as you come to this closed hip posture. Gently through breath, inviting your right hip to come back as your left hip comes slightly forward. Then feeling that beautiful stretch in the back left leg as you come to your edge in your front leg, maybe 90 degrees, and then begin to peel your torso away from your front thigh, sideways for really long, arms reach maybe up and overhead, maybe taking your gaze with you, one more expansive breath here, airplane your arms, come onto your toes behind you, lifting your heel, holding this space for a breath, feel your palms reaching together, your triceps engage, your belly's in and up, sweeping your arms up and overhead, coming into Crescent Warrior. So this is gonna be a little wider stance. You're gonna feel a deeper opening in your frontal hip on your left side. And again, just allow yourself to breathe into this hip space. Arms are gonna reach up and overhead, bringing your torso away from your front thigh. Go ahead and cactus your elbows on your exhale, opening through your chest, beautiful. Inhale, reaching your arms back up and overhead, Virabhadrasana three, shifting your weight into your front leg, floating your left foot behind you. Heart as high as your leg, so your hip is dropped in. Maybe you're micro-bending your standing leg. Gently sweeping this left knee up in towards your chest. Coming into a standing pose, bringing your left knee in with you. Extending the left heel in front of you. Standing a little taller, breathing in through your core. Coming into figure four, bending both knees, setting your left knee foot right above your right knee, hands at heart center for a breath. Inhale as you lift your torso, taking your arms out to the side, wrapping up your left leg on top of your right, so just slide it across. Left arm is gonna come underneath as you come into eagle, hugging everything inward. Elbows come straight out from your shoulders. That core space is engaged as you feel your inner thighs coming together. Take one more breath here. We're slowly gonna open up through half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Take your time in the transition. It's about the slow moving postures, the breath. Maybe your right hand stays floated, on the, floated from the ground. Maybe it comes onto the ground. Maybe a block if you have that in front of you. So you've got long lines of energy from the crown to the heel, hand to hand. One more breath here. We're making our way towards Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Landing gear is out. Thank goodness. Spread your wings and find your groundedness for a few breaths here. Beautiful. So making sure your stance is nice and wide in Warrior 2. Tracking your second toe knee, center of your thigh and your front leg. Your back hip is in as your front hip lifts. Feeling your shoulder blades come together as your wings spread, steady gaze over your front hand, finding that vrishti. Beautiful, staying deeply bent in your front leg, reverse this warrior, lay back, heart lifts, exhale as you come into side angle, Parshvakonasana. We'll be here for three to five breaths, so maybe reaching your hand towards the ground, Utita is an option, coming into a half or full bind. If you play with birds of paradise and that's part of your practice, you'll gaze at your big foot in front of you, your big toe, just bringing your back foot in, gently shifting weight into your left leg, maybe lifting your right, any step along the way. 
If both legs are still connected to the ground, continue to reach your tailbone towards your heel in both postures, finding length in your body, slowly retracing your steps. Beautiful, fingertip to fingertip, crown to heel. Inhale, breathing full. Exhale, making your way back to warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Exhale here. Inhale, both palms to reach up and overhead. Both heels will come together, gently allowing your hands to come to heart center. Deep center squat. Hands work their way onto your thighs now and just allow a couple moments of organic stretching, dropping your left shoulder towards your midline. Exhale completely, coming through center, taking the opposite side. Exhale here. Coming back through center, taking your arms out to the sides, nice wide stance, wrapping your right arm under once or twice, eagle arms once again. Feel as you lift through your elbows, exhale as you round your back. Feel a hollowing out and emptying as you round out, taking a few breaths here. Inhale as you come back to center, reaching through your elbows, use that core space to support you. Exhale as you round out once again. This time start to straighten through your legs, allow your toes to come in, heels out, and gently allow the elbows to reach towards the mat a little further. Maybe some gentle swaying, and then softly release your arms. Brasarita Padottanasana, your palms, traditional posture, palms will be between your legs, maybe elbows straight back. You may choose to take this into an inverted space, Sarshasana, maybe a shoulder rinse, or gently reaching the crown of your head towards the ground. Maybe bending into one knee or the other. Let this space be a grounded space for you, a gentle release, reconnecting to your breath, to your intention. Fill with your air. Exhale, softness. Beautiful, again, taking space to appreciate the shift in perspective, which is what this practice offers us. Gently bringing your limbs back to the mat and slowly making your way back to a halfway lift, finding a long spine. The option to use your core space to extend your arms out to the sides, airplane your wings, Beautiful, one more breath here. We're making our way back to the top of your mat, framing your right foot for a breath. Low runner's lunge. Left eye on plants, back to that spinal twist. Right arm's gonna reach towards the sky, breathing as you reach. Horizons lunge, coming to the outer edge of both feet, reaching your right hand towards the back of your mat. Slowly arcing this hand back up. The option to come into a side plank from here. Keep your left hand right where it is. Maybe to getting a hold of your big toe with your index and middle finger. Maybe sliding that foot back behind you. Rooting in, energetically rebounding up to your right side body. One more breath here. Softly making your way back to a high plank top of the push-up. Continue the same exhale as you travel through Chaturanga. Inhale up, dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. <sighs> Taking an inhale here. Exhale. Left leg lifts on your inhale, let it reach. Exhale, taking your knee to your left tricep, elbow, wrist, tapping it here, arms strong and straight, inhale, lengthening your leg back behind you. Exhale, take it underneath your body towards the opposite side. Inhale, finding length once again, reaching back. Exhale, gently stepping your foot forward, sealing your back foot flat, setting up for warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. One breath to the top. Again, taking a few breaths here to find that neutral hip. Left hip slowly makes its way back as your right hip makes its way forward. Feeling the stretch in the back of your leg as you root through the pinky toe side of your right leg. That right inner thigh travels behind you as your front leg finds maybe 90 degrees, spreading your toes. And now peeling your torso away, your side waist grow really long. Inhale, maybe taking your gaze with you towards the sky, breathing here. Exhale as you airplane your arms in front of you, lifting your back heel, using your core. Now feel your triceps as you bring your palms towards each other. Breathing here. 
Beautiful. Use the strength of your legs as you come all the way up to Crescent Warrior, sweeping your arms up and overhead. Exhale as you deepen in, feeling the openness in the right frontal hip here. A little wider stance than in Warrior One. Peeling your torso away from your front thigh. Inhale as you float your body a little taller. Cactus your arms here. Breathe through your chest. Inhale as you reach your palms tall. Once again, up and overhead, setting up for Warrior Three, Virabhadrasana Three. Shifting weight into your front leg as you float your back leg. Heart as high as your leg. Dropping that right hip in as much as you can. Take one more breath here. Slowly sweeping your right leg in front of you. Maybe bending your knee first on your inhale. On your exhale, extend your right heel. Now grow your back body even taller as you lengthen. Exhale, bringing your hands to heart center as you step your right leg on top of the left and coming into figure four. Breathe as you start to open through your hips. Taking another inhale here. Exhale. Continuing to wrap your right leg on top of your left, arms out to the sides, right arm under, returning to the eagle arms as your elbows lift straight up from your shoulders. Finding that steady gaze. Feel everything hugging in towards your midline. Feel that strength, that holding in. One more inhale as you lift, slowly beginning to open Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Take time as you transition to this open posture. Your left arm will float towards the ground. Right arm will lift. Crown of your head lengthens in front of you. Your heel behind you. Feel these long lines of energy. One more breath here. Gently, softly making your way to Virabhadrasana 2. Exhale once you come to the mat. Feeling the solidness of the foundation in these warrior postures. Mindful that the stance is long enough that your front knee doesn't go beyond your ankle and that you're tracking your left knee, second toe knee, center of your thigh. Back hip comes in as your front hip lifts. Tailbone drops just enough to engage your low belly. Traveling that heat upward, you're spreading your arms. Gaze is soft over your front hand. Shoulder blades come together, lifting through your anahata, your heart center. Take one more inhale, reverse this warrior, flipping your front palm, lay back, feel the opening in your left ribs, side angle on your exhale, Parshva Konasana. Elbow to knee, maybe your left hand connects to the block or the floor, Utita with your top arm, again, lots of options, feel free to take a half bind, bringing your right hand around your low back, maybe a full bind, bringing the left arm underneath your thigh. If Birds of Paradise is part of your practice or something you'd like to explore, you'll float your right foot back towards your hands, beginning to extend your left leg. Continuing wherever you are to feel that energy from your heel to the crown of your head as you lift and continue to open through your chest. Filling with breath, one more inhale here, slowly retracing your steps, planting that left foot back down onto the mat, floor to ceiling, opening through your arms, rooting through your left heel, coming back up to Virabhadrasana 2 for a breath, exhale here. Inhale, both arms will reach up and overhead, heels together, toes out, coming into a center squat, coming through heart center. Again, let your hands come organically to your thighs, dropping your right shoulder in first this time, finding that release in your spine, your sacrum, your shoulders, back through center and your inhale. Exhale, taking it the opposite direction. Inhale, coming back to center, finding your spine engaged. Arms come out to the sides, wrapping your left arm under once or twice, eagling your arms. Inhale, lift your elbows. Exhale, round your spine. Let your head be the last thing that falls into place. Inhale, lifting through your elbows, opening through your chest. Exhale as you round it out once again, slowly straightening through your legs, allowing your toes to slowly come inward, your heels outward. Again, reaching through your shoulders, your arms, and then releasing the wrap is whatever you'd like to, allowing your hands to come to their deepest place. And just allowing whatever arm movements make sense to you, walking your hands underneath your legs, maybe finding a clasp around your big toe, bending into one knee or the other. Feel and appreciate the exhale, the softening of this posture. And again, bend your knees as much as you would like to or need to just in order to feel that release in your upper hamstrings and low back. Finding a groundedness as you reach the crown of your head towards the mat. Taking an extra breath here. 
Slowly coming to that halfway lift, walking your hands out in front of you, maybe spreading your arms to the sides. One more breath here. Gently walking your hands back towards your front foot, coming into a low lunge, framing your foot. Right hand plants, left fingertips float towards the sky. Breathing in here. Horizons lunge as you reach your hand behind you, outer edge of both feet, breathing into your hip space a little bit more. Arching this hand back up, making your way into Vashistasana, side plank. Some expression of it where you're rooting through that right hand, stepping back to the left leg, maybe getting a hold of your big toe with your index and middle finger, rooting down through the right side body, lifting through the left. One more breath here. Gently, softly returning to your high plank, Pinning your elbows as you travel through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up, dog or cobra. Exhaling back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Please take the next 10 breaths in a space that you would like of your own. Any posture you would like, returning to child's pose. What we found in the beginning of practice, sitting back on your heels in hero's pose. Maybe an arm balance, an inversion of your choice. Just take 10 breaths, reconnecting. Come back to that intention you set in the beginning of practice. Come back to your breath, feeling the deep inhales, the expansiveness of the inhales, the softening and the release of the exhales. And if the posture you took could use a counter pose to that, find that space now. Through these movements, we move energy. We awaken places and parts of our bodies, so allow whatever's touching you right now to touch you, and allow whatever's showing up to be present, and then continue to breathe into this space. If you're joining as you're joining, inhale back onto all fours, breathing and tucking your toes, lifting your hips up and back, returning to Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward facing dog. So we'll pull a little bit of this together into a little more of an active flow. Inhale as you press back, looking towards the top of your mat, stepping or gently floating in that direction. Inhale as you lift halfway, exhale forward fold. Coming to Utkatasana chair, your deepest seat, keeping your torso nice and high, open arm twist to the right, feeling an openness in your shoulders. Inhale back through center, opening up to the left, breathing here. Inhale through center, this time airplane your arms behind you, lift your heels, extend through your chest, ground through your heels, reaching your torso from front of you, low power chair, forward fold, Utanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, planting your palms, passing through crow, bakasana is an option. Knees to the highest part of your arms, feeling your strength connecting to this space, and as you're ready, stepping or floating back, making your way through vinyasa or straight to down dog. Exhale, returning Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg lifts on your inhale, let it reach. Exhale, knee to your right tricep, nice and high, tapping it in. Inhale, lengthen behind you. Exhale, take it towards your left. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, stepping your foot gently forward, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. One breath to the top, airplane your arms, lift your heel behind you, come tall on your toes. Crescent warrior, feel the strength of your legs. On your exhale, cactus your elbows. Inhale, reaching tall, floating forward, warrior three, Virabhadrasana three, heart as high as your leg, sweeping your left leg forward. Inhale, your knee to your chest. Exhale as you extend your heel forward, setting up for figure four for a breath, hands to your heart center. Inhale, arms out to the sides, wrapping your left leg around your right, once or twice, left arm under, once or twice, Garudasana Eagle. Inhale for a breath, on your exhale, opening up, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Take your time as you find this flight. Allow this to be a beautiful transition, making your way to Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Exhale here. Inhale as you reverse your warrior, lay back. Exhale, high side angle for a breath. Utida with your top arm, reaching it up and overhead, sweeping your arm in front of you, wide-legged forward fold. Toes in, heels out. Inhale to that halfway lift, long spine, framing your front foot, top of the mat. 
Spinal twist or Vajistasana, whatever makes sense in your body here. Stepping and making your way back to a high plank eventually. Pinning your elbows, traveling through Chaturanga. Inhale up, dog or cobra. Exhaling back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale your left leg behind you, let it reach. Exhale, knee to your left tricep. Inhale, reaching it back. Exhale, taking it underneath your body towards your right. Inhale, lengthening back. Exhale, stepping forward, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. One breath, coming all the way to the top. Airplane your arms, lifting your back, heels, shoulders engaged. Sweeping your arms up and overhead, crescent warrior on your inhale, cactus your elbows on your exhale. Inhale, reaching tall, floating forward. Warrior three, Virabhadrasana three, heart as high as your leg. Sweeping your right leg forward. Inhale, your knee to your chest. Exhale, extending through your heels. Figure four, breathe as you exhale. Inhaling here, wrapping it up, eagle pose. Right leg on top, right arm underneath. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, opening up. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, floating, flying, lightness. Inhale here, setting up for warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Exhale here. Inhale, reverse this warrior, lay back. Side angle, Parshvakanasana for a breath. Utita with your top arm, sweep it in front of your face, wide legged forward, fold, breath is full. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, framing your front foot, low lunge, right hand plants, side twist, left arm floats, the option to pass through Vashistasana, side plank one more time, making your way back to a high plank, hitting your elbows as you travel through Chaturanga, inhale up, dog or cobra, exhale back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take an in breath here. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale your right leg behind you. Gently letting your knee come right behind your right wrist, setting up for half pigeon, Ekapada Raja Kapotasana. So taking this on your front leg in front of you, your left knee's behind you. If you have any issues with your knee and would rather come onto your back, you can find figure four with your legs. Inhale as you lift your chest. Exhale as you slowly begin to come forward, belly, chest, and chin. If you're on your back, weaving your hands behind your left hamstring, allow your shoulders to open that right hip, that right knee. And gently just finding some spots of softness, breathing into your back body. We move in towards our second chakra, our emotional center. Place we tend to grip, holding energy. So just gently allow some softness. If your hips are a little tighter, your foot's gonna be closer to your groins. If your hips are a little more open, your front shin will be a little more parallel to the top of your mat. Take three more expansive breaths here. Each inhale just allows a deepening in. Each exhale a softening. back onto long arms. If you're on your back, you're gonna make your way to seated. From here, you're gonna sweep your left leg around and take that left foot outside your right thigh. Coming into a seated twist, spine is really long. Your left arm's gonna become a stake right behind your spine. Right arm reaches right up and overhead. Finding length, exhale as you gently take your right elbow outside your left knee. Inhaling length. Exhale as you continue to revolve over your left shoulder. Each inhale finding space, each exhale softness. Beautiful inhale, slowly coming back to center. Releasing your legs in front of you, moving towards boat pose, Navasana. So take your time to find this neutral space. Slowly bringing your knees in towards your chest, finding that sacral bowl, not on top of your sit bones, not too far back of your low back. 
Arms can be amplified by lifting up and overhead. Your hands can make their way around your hamstrings. You want to start to connect to your core, lifting your chest. Inhale here, lower everything two inches from the mat, hollowing out this core space. Inhale, returning to boat, lifting, opening. Exhale, lower everything two inches from the mat, hollow out, keeping your shoulder blades lifted. Inhale, back to boat. Beautiful, crossing at your ankles, coming up and over your legs, making your way back to the high plank, top of the push-up. Pinning your elbows as you come through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, holding the space for an extra breath. Allow softness as you counterpose that core work. Exhale as you lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, your left leg behind you. Allow it to reach and lengthen. Exhale, setting up for half pigeon on the opposite side. Left knee behind your left wrist. Again, taking this on your back if you'd like to. Your back knee if you're upright, your knee is going to come straight down, your foot straight out behind you. Long spine, chest lifts, exhale, belly, chest and chin as you find that surrender. Side to side, we can feel quite different. Our openness, our flexibility can be varied. So just allow whatever is showing up for you to be what it is. And you're breathing in, finding balance in your body. Reconnect to your breath. As your body slows down, mindful that you're not picking up your thoughts, your lists, any concerns, just come back to the breath. Traveling three more expansive breaths through your back body, expanding through your belly, your chest. Shoulders to be soft, your hips to release. And slowly making your way back up onto long arms, making your way from your back onto a seated space and gently preparing to swing your right leg around, planting your right foot opposite outside of your left thigh. Again, your right hand is gonna become a stake this time, growing your spine tall. Inhale your left arm up and overhead. Exhale as you begin to take a soft twist over your right shoulder. Inhaling length in your spine. Exhale, traveling that gaze over your right shoulder. Breathe full, inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Slowly releasing, making your way back. Slowly bringing both legs out, this time extending them straight out onto the mat. Come tall onto your sit bones, finding the basis of all sitting postures, Dandasana. Palms are gonna be right beside your waists. Let your spine grow really tall, flexing your feet. If your hamstrings are tight, you can take a micro bend into your knees, but feel a deep back bend as you bring your shoulder blades together. You're engaging your pelvic floor, Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha as you reach in and up, Jaladhara Bandha, maybe dropping your chin in towards your throat. Feeling your back body growing a little bit taller. Very active back bending, core engaging space. Take one more expansive breath here. Exhale. Slowly beginning to float your arms up and overhead. Feel the lengthening of your spine once again as you reach your arms. Exhale as you come into a forward fold. Take your time, Pachimottanasana. East-West stretch. Inhale once again, lengthen your spine. Exhale as you softly come forward. Maybe a slight rounding of your back just to feel this surrendering, this coming home. Inhale, a little more length. Exhale. Slowly making your way back up to a straight spine. Slight tilt of your pelvis, maybe a slight bend into your knees as you hollow out your core. We're gonna make our way all the way onto our backs. Mindful in this transition, allowing your shoulder blades to maybe stay hovering for a moment, feeling that core engagement, and then beautifully lowering all the way onto your backs. 
Setting up for bridge pose, Satchibandha. Palms will be right next to your hips, rooting through all four corners of your feet without squeezing your glutes. The action's coming from your heels and your forearms as you gently begin to lift your hips off the mat. Perhaps interlacing your hands underneath you, getting tall onto your triceps, allowing your chest to rise towards your chin. Now filling your belly with as much breath as you can, starting to move towards these cooling postures. Allow your belly to rise higher than your knees. Fill with breath as we begin to open all seven chakras in these finishing back bending poses. One more breath here. Exhale as you slowly separate your hands, lowering back onto the mat. Soles of your feet are together, knees opening up, Supta Baddha Konasana, maybe a hand to your belly, a hand to your chest. Inhaling here. Exhale. The opportunity for one more back bend is yours, either staying where you are, coming back to bridge, or if you practice full wheel and know the steps of safety by rooting through all four corners of your feet, allowing your arms to come back behind your ears, all 10 fingers pointing towards your shoulders, lifting to the crown of your head first, and then extending your limbs straight, chest reaches behind you, breathing in as you open up, filling with breath as you reach and expand through your chest, your belly, and your hips. Wherever you are, fill with that pranayama, fill with the breath. Taking one more inhale here, gently, mindfully making your way back onto your mats. Again, soles of your feet together, knees opening up, Supta Baddha Konasana. Inhale. Exhale. Hugging your knees in towards your chest, giving them a good squeeze here. Extending your heels towards the sky, unsupported Viparita Karani, feeling an openness in the backs of your legs. Heels reach. Either staying right here, letting your forearms come back beside your hips once again, lifting your hips up and back as you come into plow, halasana. Reaching your heels behind you, hips lift, elbows make their way towards each other as your hands come a little closer. Finding a straight line from the base of your chest through your hips and then maybe coming into Salamba Sarvangasana, allowing your hands to come to your back, lengthening both legs straight up. That long line of energy from the base of your chest through your toes. Now fill with a huge breath, expanding. Inner thighs continue to travel towards the front of your mat on your exhale. One more inhale here. If you're found, shoulder stand returning to plow. And then bending your knees alongside your ears, Karna Pandasana, finding that little release in your low back. Lengthening your legs to straight, keeping your legs as close to your face as you can, rolling back onto your mat one vertebra at a time. And once your low back connects to the mat, hugging your knees back in towards center. Giving them a good squeeze here, hugging your energy in, taking your arms out to the sides, gently allowing your knees to drop to the right as you take your gaze over your left shoulder, your left arm. Just feeling a soft release, a gentle spinal twist. Our last little bit of ringing out. Letting go. Inhale as you bring your knees back through center, taking the opposite side right away. Exhale your knees to the left, gazing over your right shoulder, keeping that right shoulder blade grounded. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale as you hug your knees back through center. Happy baby Ananda Balasana, knees to your armpit space, hands around the outer edge of your feet. Just allow a last little bit of massage of your spine side to side, maybe lengthening one leg or the other. Last little bit of opening in your inner thighs, inner groins, backs of your legs. Inhale here, exhale as you hug your knees back into center. One more bit of tension, one more bit of hugging in, holding in, and then softly allowing your feet to lengthen out onto the mat. Allowing your feet to gently fall open, your knees to fall open, your hips to be soft. Shoulder blades down your back as your palms face up. 
opening through your chest, your heart center. Let's breathe together. Inhale here. Exhale through your mouth. As we make our way into corpse pose, Shavasana. We continue to practice with softness, with lightness, finding peace. Allowing our bodies, our minds, our spirits a moment of rest. Space where we can honor the practice, what it touches, what it holds for us. Enjoying this moment of rest, Shanti. Deepen your breath. Finding little movements back in your fingers and in your toes. Reaching your arms up and overhead. Inhaling here, inviting one more full body stretch. Allow your ribs to lift, your low back to lift. Exhale as you hug your knees in towards your chest. Gently rolling onto your right side in the fetal position. Finding this rebirth, this renewal in the practice. And then slowly making your way to a seated space at the top of your mat. Bringing your hands to your heart center. Spine long. Allow yourself to feel your heart beating. Let's close with a single collective breath. Inhale here. Exhale. Namaste. The light in me honors that which is light in you.